an active investigation and police have seized the suspect's electronic devices. Now, just a few steps away from a horrific scene of violence, there's a growing memorial. A community grieving and very much in disbelief. All five of the victims were stabbed to death while celebrating the end of university classes. Among them, Zachariah Rathwell, a student from the Alberta College of Art and Design. When I found out it was Zach among a lot of my other friends, I just broke down. Today, Rathwell's friends came together to remember. He was the lead singer in a local band, Zachariah and the Prophets. The drummer was Josh Hunter, another one of the victims. On Saturday night, they played a concert celebrating the release of their EP. They were pretty much over the moon about it. Uh, they were ha very happy. They said uh, it was the best show they'd ever played. Jordan Segura and Katy Paris were also part of that same circle of friends. They'd all gone to high school together. They were also killed that night. Paris was an English major and loved to dance. We danced with her ever since we were little. We have so many good memories, but I can't think of a more undeserving person for this to happen to. Segura was enrolled in religious studies. He was working part-time at this funeral home. Tremendous loss for all of us. The manager is now bringing in grief counselors to help his staff. He was a, just a, a young man who cared, a young man who wanted to serve people, and he, a young man who was very, very responsible. The oldest of the victims at 27 was Lawrence Hong. Today, he's being remembered for his volunteer work. Lawrence was just the sweetest guy, smiles for everyone. Many of the students grieving their friends are also struggling to come to terms with just who is accused of murdering them. Matthew DeGroote is the son of a Calgary police inspector. He never seemed like the kind of person who would do something like this. He was going to law school, like he had everything going for him. The question is just what triggered these killings? The police will be on scene here for at least a few more days. As for DeGroote, he's in a secure psychiatric facility and he's scheduled to make a court appearance next week. Peter? All right, Briar, thank you. Briar Stewart in Calgary tonight.